Hello beautiful! Welcome back to Nat's Beautiful Life. Um, first of all, I curled my hair yesterday and it's got a mind of its own so here we go. Um, so today I'm going to be filming my January favorites. Um, I have some beauty and I have some other things so um, yeah I think I've got a good selection here so I'm just going to get going on it. So, um, first thing is a beauty situation. Of course, I'm not wearing it today, but it is a nail polish. Um, and it is called Fifth Avenue. It is by China Glaze. Here, <laughs> looks like that. I have worn this. This is the only nail polish I've worn on my fingers since I got it. That's telling you something. Because, you, as you can see, I have like a whole situation there of nail polishes. Um, but I love this one, and it kind of looks like a mauve pink thing in the bottle, but it's almost like a muted brown or something on the fingers. I should really have worn it to show you, but mm, hindsight being 2020. All right, so um, next thing, makeup product is this guy, the Too Faced Peanut Butter Palette, which I have tea on. Um, I love this. Um, you're, here are the colors. Really great earthy tones. You can do all kinds of looks with it. Um, I'm wearing it today. I'm on, I'm, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm only wearing the Nuts About You and the Banana Shade. Um, I wish that this was a little bit more of a cream color. It's a little too stark white for me, but otherwise, I really love this palette. And the colors are right up my alley. Um, these are two of my favorites, and then of course I love these kind of peanut buttery shades. So that's been a favorite. And um, another favorite I've had is the Rimmel um, Bronzer in Sunlight. I got this on a recommendation from another YouTuber. I will put it on the screen somewhere. But when I first got it I thought it was just like muddy looking on me. But as I paled up some more during the winter months, it's been great. So I am wearing it today as well. It is my bronzer on my cheeks and, or, you know, down here, and on my um, forehead there. So I'm really liking it, and it's super cheap. I mean, uber cheap. For the highlight, it's been this Revlon, wow, drugstore stuff. Um, this Revlon highlighting palette in peach glow. And I've been using this on a regular basis. I am wearing it today. I will take my setting brush and it's upside down here. So there's no mirror, so I guess I don't have to do that. So I'll take the setting brush and kind of get those first two things in kind of go up here. I can't see what I'm doing. I'm just looking at the viewfinder. And then I'll swirl it down here and go kind of in this area. And um, that's kind of what I've been doing on an everyday basis. That way when I use my bronzer, I can just use the bronzer and go. Or if I want to add a blush, I can. But I love it. It's amazing. Let me make sure I've got that blended in. Alright, right, so. Okay, so let me see. Those are my main makeup products. Um, so let's do skincare and then I'll move on to stuff. So um, my skin has been very dry and you know I love my, um, what is it called? I don't know, it's, an, it's actually an Avon cleanser that has salicylic acid in it and then there's also another one like Garnier or something that's an oil. Those I really do like for um, getting makeup off and all that stuff. And then the the uh, salicylic acid cleanser, I love after I've gotten my makeup off and really getting in there and it just opens the pores, breathes. But in the morning, because it's a little bit drier, it's too much, so I like to use a more gentle cleanser. And one that I have been using is this one. It is the, can you see it in the light? Um, it is the Mary Kay Botanical Effects for dry skin and it's a cream cleanser so it I mean it literally looks like a lotion you can see 
and so I put that on and, and I feel like it's cleansing my skin without stripping of everything so in the morning or if I don't have any makeup on I really really do enjoy this and I've been trying the double cleanse um, I think it's kind of silly at first you know thinking about it but I heard people doing the double cleanse and I'll tell you what that is in a second and it's really changing their skin so the double cleanse is actually a um, is it Korean method it's an Asian method of cleansing your skin and that's where you actually use two different cleansers and two type of cleansers to wash your face so um, I might use like last night I did the double cleanse and my skin actually did look a lot like clearer and brighter and a lot of people think you know washing your face soap is soap but I have learned as I have you know progressed in my time here on earth that soap is not soap definitely you can tell a difference in body washes as well as face washes so last night I did use a salicylic cleanser um, I always take my makeup off first and I'll talk show you that stuff in a second I always take my makeup off first then I go in with my cleanser so I used my salicylic acid cleanser and then I went in with this one and it just felt like it really got it all out um, but yeah, so I might try that for the week and just see if I see any changes in my skin with that. But I think I might get a more, another the gentle cleanser. I like the Mary Kay 3-in-1, but I think I'm out completely. So, yeah. But this one's good. Alright, so for my cellar waters, I have kind of an update and all that. You know, I love this. And I love the simple micellar makeup remover wipes. Those are my favorite. I don't think I'll ever buy another one ever again, period. But, um, you know, everybody was like, this is the best water ever. And people either, you know, they either love this or hate this for some reason. I don't have a problem with it. I, it's my favorite. I love it. This one, I was like, well, if I love the micellar wipes so much and everybody's like raving about this, maybe I should give it a try. And I'm not, it's, I'm not a fan. I love this so much better. I think this works a lot better. But I'll either keep trying this to see if I can make it work. Or I will pass it on to someone who doesn't wear as much makeup as me. But just that's just my opinion on that. Okay, so let's make stuff. Fun stuff. Okay, so um, new year. So new calendar. I don't know if you see this. There's stuff flying in the air. Um, so got two things going on. First, I got my happy planner. And if you see what it says on the front. It was fate. It says it. Hello, beautiful. And so I've really been loving this. And if you want to check out any planning planner videos or anything, let me know. And I can do them on my chit chat with Nat channel or over here, whatever you want. But this thing is awesome. And yeah, I love it. I love it. And what I love is that it is, let me find an empty page. Because it has different sections on each day. And I like to use one planner for everything as far as like work, home, personal stuff, whatever I gotta do, appointments, I like it all in one place. But I'm also very visual, so if it's all jumbled together, I it my brain just goes in overload. So with the three different sections on there, I can do, you know, work up at the top, um, you know, other to do's, appointments, and all of that. So I'm I'm loving that. Um, the other thing that I got is also by um, Mambi, which is me and my big ideas. They make the Happy Planner. They started making a Happy Planner mini. This one is not just a regular planner. It is a meal tracker. And so I have been writing down every single thing in the month of January. Uh, you know what I mean? Everything I eat is in here um, anything I have um, anything that's going on in my body from water to Diet Coke to you know one Dorito like I literally grabbed a bag of Doritos that my husband had been chomping away on at lunch and he left on the table I grabbed him gave Barry the dog one ate one myself wrote that I had one Dorito in this and I'm I'm loving this tracking and it's really helping me with my health goals um, so that's awesome one electronic thing and I got these for my yeah I got it for Christmas so really love these it's in the little case here they are Bluetooth 
um, what do you call these? Bluetooth headphones. So I like these because I do, you know, walk the dogs and then do things around here and there. And it's nice to not be tethered uh, to the phone or whatever, or I don't have to keep pulling the phone out to stop, skip back or whatever. Because on this one, and these are by Treblab. Treblab? Got them on Amazon. Um, this is worthless. Like this, because my ears are so small. I don't know if you can see my hair is just doing its own thing. I put them in, I do this, and they're in. The, it, nothing. And I guess it's just if they do come out of your ears, they'll catch. But seriously, nothing. And yeah. But they're awesome, and they kind of um, reduce noise as well. So, because I mean, they're in there, buddy. Um, but you can play, you can pause, you can answer phone calls, you can skip to the next song, or you can go back. Whatever you want to do, all the controls are right within the, um, the little thing, and so it's awesome. And they've been really great for even when I'm um, just like meal prepping on like Sunday or whatever. Um, I could be listening to an audiobook or a podcast, and Ryan could be in the living room because there's no door from the living room to the kitchen, and he can be playing a video game or I don't know. Did you hear that? That's these two knuckleheads just them two right there. Going to town, playing. Can you guys sit, like chill out for like, what are you doing? Callie's folded in half. Okay, can you just chill out for like two minutes? Um, anyway, so I can, I can use these and I don't hear whatever he's watching on television or anything. I can just go about my business and I'm not tethered. It's right there. So those have been awesome. Um, I think, I think that's it. Um, I do want to show you what I am reading now. Um, that is called a House in the Sky, and it is by Amanda Lindau, and it is a memoir. She did a lot of traveling, and she, when people asked her what she did for a living, she'd like, I'm a traveler, because she would um, go and be a waitress in some of these, like, higher end places that would she could earn a lot of money at, and then she would just go and travel for several months, and so it's not only that, but she actually did get kidnapped in um, one of her travels and was held for, I don't know if months or years, but or a year, it was a long time. She was held, having not had that part yet, but she was held for a quite some time and um, held for ransom, um, her and a friend. So this has been a good book. It really captures me when I read it. Um, in fact, that it's a true story is, is even more amazing. So seriously. <laughs> at me anyway so that's what I've been reading okay so that is my monthly favorites hope that you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and let me know what you want to see in videos in the upcoming future whoa my I keep looking at myself today in the viewfinder and I'm not sure why it's just I think I'm just trying to make sure my hair is not like in my face but anyway Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day gorgeous.